everybody and welcome. This is Visible Lady of Faith coming to you with an overview of the Sunday School lesson entitled Ezra and the Law for Sunday, February the 13th, 2022. This lesson took place after Israel and others returned to Jerusalem from Babylonian captivity. Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, destroyed the Jerusalem temple earlier. God allowed Israel to be held captive by the Babylonians as a result of their disobedience and idolatry. After King Nebuchadnezzar died, King Cyrus of Persia let those who wanted to go back to Jerusalem return. He also returned stolen artifacts. King Cyrus may have had an ulterior motive for returning artifacts to Jerusalem because he wanted to get the, on the good side of the Jews. Why? Because he probably wanted to use them as an ally against the Assyrians. Uh, the people feared the Assyrians because of the size and power of their organized military. The military used the latest technical weapons like battering rams and lances. Ezra. Ezra was committed to helping the people rebuild the temple and their community so they can thrive, so they can worship God and thrive spiritually, intellectually, and emotionally. Ezra studied the law, taught it, and tried to live by it. I was thinking about how we go to church and think that that's enough, but we ought to take, but we ought to take what we learn and apply to our everyday lives, showing compassion, integrity, and forgiveness. We don't have to be in a particular building or place to worship. Anybody can praise God anytime, anywhere, and anyhow. We should not let our circumstance dictate when, where, or whether or not we worship God or serve others. We should do that automatically as a result of our faith or as a result of having faith. Ezra was grateful to God for making it possible for them to return to Jerusalem. As long as Israel was obedient to God's commands, they were allowed to rebuild their temple and community. The book of Ezra encourages us to overcome opposition. I think about all the challenges that we face as black people. I don't understand why we're marginalized by others so much. The murders, the disrespect, injustices, lack of financial opportunities, political offices, level of mistaken identities, etc. is too often intentionally justified irrationally. No matter what our condition is, we still should have hope. Ooh.